What's up, people? I'm Mark Marcel. Um, or am I? Um, I say that because of this video. Um, this video is entitled "Your Little Avatar," and that's what we all are. I'm just the avatar that people know as Mark Marcel. But you know. In that, you know, I put out a video earlier where I was talking about humans being created by extraterrestrials and how really that really doesn't matter because really this is just an avatar. This is just a body. So whatever created the body, it really doesn't matter. I mean, what really matters is what's plugging into the body, the conscious thought of it. And all your little avatar is doing is basically playing a game with itself here. And the game that it is playing with itself is somewhat kind of like Super Mario Brothers, where Let's say you want a level, and you're jumping over the boxes. That I mean, I know it's not a box, but I forget exactly what it was on the game. But you know, you're jumping over the things on the board in Super Mario Brothers, and you're hitting the things with Mario on the head, and you're getting all these coins, and you know that's good. You're getting all these things in the game, all these gadgets, all these advancements, all these things. It's just all stuff in the game that your avatar is doing, and that's just this level. This level right now that you're on right now, you're just on one level of Super Mario Brothers. And what happens in the game is that you go to another level. And we are going to go to another level of the game, of a physical. It's going to be something different than this. And when you go to the next, next level in Super Mario Brothers, you know, the board is different. You know, it's a little different. You know, there's more things in it. It's not the end of the game, it's just another level. And the next level that we're going to go to is not the end of the game, it's just another level. We got a few more levels before we get to the end of the game. But when you're playing Super Mario Brothers, when you get to the end of the game, as you go through the levels, you know, what happens? You fight the dragon, you save the princess. What happens? The reward is short. Ah, uh, the reward, oh wow, I won. Bam, and the game starts all over. Just a little bit different. And that's really all it is. You know, deja vu can mean a lot of things. It can mean that we, well, it does mean a lot of things. We've done this before in some type of capacity. We've done this before. Maybe we've been stuck on this level. Maybe we've done this before and have advanced through this level, and advanced through all stages, and it's just doing this again, just a little bit differently. Whatever deja vu exactly is, it is something that is a reminder that we have done again. But, so right now we're on a level of Super Mario Brothers. I don't believe it's the first level. I can't tell you that in, in my actual journeys. It has never told me if it's first level, second level, third level, whatever. I just, I know it's a level. It's a dimension. It's something. I know it's one of the lower levels, though. I believe. This is real dense here. But, you know, we have these things. You know, we have all these gadgets in the Super Mario Brother game that we're in, of life. The Super Game of Life. The Super Game Brothers of Life, whatever. Because we're all brothers, family, one. But it's just like chess and checkers. Because in this game, playing checkers would be Playing checkers would be too easy. 
in this game, you are not your body. You, I mean, you are your body, but you're more advanced than that. You're a thinker. You're operating the avatar in this game. So you want to give the avatar these fucking wild experiences. Sometimes it takes you to the fucking to the grind. It takes you to the point to where you can't take no more. But consciously you love it because that's chess. And you're not a checker player. You're a chess player. Your consciousness. You know, human beings and all that shit. That shit is just that shit is checkers. Shit's too easy. Playing video games, you know, um, buying jewelry, you know, um, cars and material things, shit that don't matter. That's, that shit's too easy. That shit is checkers. You're a chess player. You want to give yourself these type of magnificent things in the game. And you know, so you do. And you're everything in it. You're even the ego. You are your ego. You're every you're everything in this shit. But you're also you're the opposite side of you, which is the ego. Is it's man. I just put my foot in my mouth because the ego isn't necessarily you, but it is you because you're everything. But it's not you in a way because it's just you here. I mean, just like your body, in a sense. So, I guess I necessarily didn't put my foot in my mouth. Because it's only you here. And it's just like your avatar. But this is also... Anyway, but... At the end of the game, what happens? Push the reset button. It starts all over. It's a little bit differently. And that's what all this is. But just on the level... We have many, 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 many more <laughs> lifetimes and, and stages to go before we get to the last level, which is fucking amazing to me because you know it's wild because you would think, and it is, you would think that the last level is to really like just know what the fuck you are. And... And the ultimate goal of knowing what you are is God, I would think. And when you realize that, you're like, oh, okay, cool, I got it. You would think that that's the last level, but that's what's so amazing about it because it's not. It's something more magnificent than that. And that's amazing to me because people here on this level, on this low level, are realizing that they are one with everything and that they are God and that they created this so man what is the next level going to be like it's going to be amazing whenever it comes live learn love and laugh respect i know they give respect even before i'm walking the thing they see it's had it on my neck mark my words production